Hello, Jeff Patterson, this is Eric Nelson. We're looking at some uh, guard attacks from our level one curriculum, talking about some details today in this video on the Kimura and how to set it up, how to control the body as we're um, looking to get a hold of that arm. So we're going to start here. And actually, let's slide back just a little bit. Let's be okay. All right, so the first one, depending on where his arms are, is going to help us know how we want to set this up. So from here, if his hands are inside, anytime I'm on the bottom, I always like to control this inside control. So if I'm setting up the Kimura, I can bring my hands inside, and as I pull them forward with my legs, I'm breaking his posture, and this hand is just kind of sliding down to control the wrist. Once I have the wrist, I can grab the head here, and walk the legs up, and now I've got good control. When I'm ready to move over the Kimura, I can push him off to the side. And as I switch to the Kimura, I'd like to have this foot on top, because if this foot's on top, when he reaches back, he can peel that foot off, and now he can start to pass. But with this foot on top, it's more difficult for him to unwind my feet. Now once I have this, I'm gonna shift my hips outside the knee, come up and grab, and then from here, I just kind of roll the hips forward and bring that hand towards his back position here. And I can also push into this top leg to help give me energy to drive that, that hip forward into this lock. Okay, let's try it again. So I come inside immediately, just kind of starting here as my home base. Let's get those hands inside position. I pull him forward, slide down to the wrist. Switch the feet, I can push the hand to the side, push the head to the side, and I'm using this leg to kind of control the back of his arm. So as I push this down, my leg here can move, bring his body into me, and grab the wrist. Once I have this, now I'm pushing into this leg, and I'm turning my wrist. Come up here this way. One more time. Let's uh, go, let's turn this way. Inside, I pull him forward, get the grip. Come off to the side, push him over, under, make sure this foot's on top. Now from here, the more I can get my hips a little bit outside the knee here, now in this position, it's a lot easier to roll those hips forward and have a lot more power when you're coming up on that lock. And so as I do this, don't try to use your muscle and lift with your arms. Think about turning the hips and rolling that arm in and down. Very tight lock. Remember when you're practicing any of the shoulder locks, especially with newer belts, always make sure to teach them to go slow. Make sure they know how to tap. Well, one of my old instructors, he always used to say, the smartest thing they ever invented in jiu-jitsu is the tap. You gotta teach them to tap. You gotta teach them to tap early. And as you are developing your skills, it's also important to pay attention to the tap. You know, if, uh, um, if I need to do this every time I tap, my partner's probably going a little bit hard. Just be relaxed, focus, listen for the tap, and be respectful for your training partners. All right, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.